Local teams are breaking new ground in the virtual reality industry by creating the first game made by students on the autism spectrum. Our Ben Jordan reports they're learning much needed skills to find high paying jobs. A Milwaukee organization called Islands of Brilliance came up with this idea because 83% of young adults on the autism spectrum are unemployed. Local teams are building this virtual reality game from scratch, learning tech skills that are highly sought after in a growing industry. Inside a computer lab in the third ward, teens are hard at work developing a game to take people across the world into a fantasy land of their own creation. But basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to generate uh, infinite terrain randomly. Nathan Schmidt took an interest in computer coding when he was just five years old. What about this is fun to you? Um, probably the fact that I can make uh, anything I want to really. Now as a Franklin High School sophomore, he's participating in the massive project to make it his career. I want to be either a game developer for uh, making games or I want to work at Microsoft. According to the Centers for Disease Control, one out of every 59 kids are diagnosed with autism, but far more concerning for Islands of Brilliance Executive Director Mark Fairbanks is their job outlook. The 83% unemployment rate is uh, it's just a astronomical figure. Fairbanks says creating a virtual reality game helps these students learn complex computer programs while building social and emotional skills by working as a team. What we see with our students is that they are naturally suited for that type of work. They can focus for longer periods of time. They're gifted with technology. So if we give them the opportunity to learn in a supported env environment, uh, the likelihood for them to go on and work in this community you know, only increases. These students will spend the next 18 months building the game from start to finish. It will one day be accessible on the internet. Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.